I'm Heidi from One Creative Mommy. Welcome to my first ever video tutorial. Today I'm sharing my tutorial for my most popular post on my blog, my Olaf Sock Snowman. My readers have been asking me for years to share a video tutorial and I'm finally going to give it a try. So this is actually a post in my series of frozen birthday party ideas, so be sure to check out all my ideas for frozen birthday parties, not just this one. Here we go. Let's see how to make this cute snowman. Here's what you'll need to make Olaf. You'll need a children's girls bobby sock. This is size three to 10. It's actually a little bigger than the sock that I used for this Olaf, so you can use a slightly smaller sock. You'll need rice, a cup with the bottom cut out. Well, I'll show you how to use that in a little while. And thanks to Grace, one of my readers, for that great idea. You'll need two white pom-poms, three clear plastic ponytail holders, two googly eyes, a little bit of orange felt, and my printable from my blog for the pieces of Olaf's face and body features. I did these by printing out the printable, then gluing it to the back of some um, adhesive felt, and then cutting the pieces out from there. All right, let's get started. So you start, this was a kindergarten teacher's idea. She did this project with her entire class. So you put the sock around the cup, and I've pre-measured these. This is about three-fourths of a cup of rice. So pour that in. And then just squeeze it down. Now you'll take one of the ponytail holders and make sure you're tying it right in the center or else your Olaf will be kind of lopsided. You might need to help kids with this part. Push it down the way you want it. Then get ready for the next section. This is the smallest section of Olaf's body. It's about an eighth of a cup of rice. Squeeze it down. And again. Use your ponytail holder, try to get it right in the center. You can use rubber bands, but for the top section, you for sure want something clear because it will show. These middle ones will not show when you're finished. Okay, ready to move on to the final section. Put your cup in again. This is about a half a cup of rice. Shake it down. And move these out of the way. And remember this Olaf's head is kind of diamond shaped, so it's going to be long and narrow. You don't want to make it flat like the other two pieces. Again, use your ponytail holder, make sure it's nice and centered. And because this sock is longer than my original, I need to give Olaf a little trim here. There we go. Okay, now you'll need a glue gun. Which I might have failed to mention in the beginning that you'll need, sorry about that. So just pull it back a little and do a bead of glue around. This is what's going to keep your guy from shifting around. Make sure you've got him just where you want him. Okay, and now your ponytail holder is stuck in there. I'm going to turn it around, look at it, make sure it's just the way I want. Actually, the heel of the sock kind of 
helped with that diamond shape, so I'm going to make that the front. Careful not to put the hot glue right on the ponytail holder or you might um, make the ponytail holder uh, melt and break. Okay, there we go. So now he's already there. Now we're ready to add the face. When you, when you create Olaf's face, start with his mouth. That way you will make sure that you have room for his whole face. There we go. The nose and eyes you will want to help the children with because you'll need to do with the hot glue. to do my eyes kind of right on top of the nose but I noticed that the kids at our birthday party all did it different ways when I did this for the birthday party I did pre-cut all of the felt shapes and I gave them a little baggie with all of the pieces already in there so they were ready to go and this could go really quickly Olaf just is not Olaf until he gets his eyebrows. That is really what gives him his character. And I'm putting the Olaf together from the back, so I sure hope he looks right from the front. There we go. When you give Olaf his hair, make sure you put it right at the base of that ponytail holder or it'll look like his hair is floating. Now these felt back pieces will not stick forever, so I suggest that after your kids finish putting the project together that you then go back with a glue gun and make them a little more permanent. Okay, then for the hands, make sure the thumbs are on top you want to poke it in right in between the two pieces and then wrap it around his belly. Okay. And of course, Olaf needs his buttons. One button goes on the center and the other two go on his bottom section. Okay, all we have left is giving Olaf, let's see him better that way, is giving Olaf some feet. Careful not to glue Olaf to the table which I have done. Just put the glue on the pom-poms and there you go. There is your ador adorable Olaf sock snowman. I hope you'll join me for other tutorials and fun projects for kids. I have lots of ideas for birthday parties, holidays, and fun crafts for kids, and even some recipes on my site. Don't forget to join me on onecreativemommy.com. See you there. Bye-bye.